James and Jazhara have met a couple of brigands. James is going to apply a grease to his sword in preparation for dealing with said brigands. Jazhara is going to spend a long time struggling to find a spell, and finally, since she does not have line of sight, not throw anything, she'll cast Demon Blade on James's sword. That is a very shiny sword right there. And Jazhara still doesn't have anything to do, so... She is going to cast Demon Blade on this guy's head. And James is going to spread the love around. Now, this doesn't really matter because James can just kill them without the aid of, well, pretty much Demon Blade or the poison. The poison in particular is pretty unimportant. It takes too long to work. Remember that your mages can support other members of the party with their spells, as well as attack the enemy. Let's look at Skin to Steel. It gives a party member magical armor for the duration of the battle. Now, in this case, uh, James is not really facing a great threat. I have him in an aggressive stance and uh, defending himself. So really, I, I probably shouldn't even bother with the defense, but the idea is that when James does get hit, he takes very little damage, and so far he's taken two. And what you can do is use that time that you gain in battle to do other things that are, you know, giving you an advantage. Obviously, the more enemies you have in a battle, the less time you have to mess around like this. But uh, Skin to Steel is a technique that can buy you some time in a battle. And it can also keep weak party members alive. I believe we used Skin to Steel in the uh, basement of the Hidden Dog when we were fighting the Nighthawks. And it helped Jizhara, although Jizhara wasn't really able to do anything else that time. You can see how overpowered James is. Powerful items plus preparation equals instant kills. So to start, I'm going to park James in the corner here and let Jashara take control. Um, I'm going to set James up with some powerful stuff. Uh, no reason, really. Just because I have time to. And these guys are going to start taking swings at Jashara. She took three damage there. Pretty unimportant. Jazhara is going to take a strong potion of beast walk. Bizarre! Seems to heal her for three damage. I don't know why that is, but it did that. And James is going to take this guy out because I kind of wanted this to be a one on one battle. Um, not sure if that was a good idea, but at the time I kind of wanted to cut down on the amount of time that these uh, clips were taking, so that's why I did that. Now these guys are still swinging at Jashara. She's got uh, additional armor, of course, because of the potion. Uh, James is going to take care of this guy. You could, you know, potentially give uh, multiple party members potions of Beast Walk and play the game that way. Set uh, Jashara to an aggressive attack stance, and look at all that damage she does. And she's not trained in brawling. I don't know if brawling really matters, but it's fine. And the poison damage is pretty wicked, at least with this version, strong version of the potion. 
And there you go. How survivable Jishara would really be in that state, I don't know. I also don't remember if she can cast spells like that. I don't think she can. To start, let's park James in the corner of this room here and set him up with some tools that will make this battle faster in case nothing interesting happens at it. And just Hara will search for a spell, and she's going to use My Enemy, My Friend. Now, I think My Enemy, My Friend is one of the most important spells for just Hara, because a common issue in battles is the enemies cluster around the mages. And my enemy, my friend, is the solution to that problem. That enemy is unable to attack Jashara, so he's going to go after James, who is completely able to withstand all of the abuse he can deliver. Meanwhile, Jashara is now free to do whatever she wants. In this case, she's just going to throw a shield around James, but she could, you know, handle other enemies. It's sort of like Contest of Wills, except Jashara is not uh, preoccupied. And the only reason James did 67 damage to that guy is because that's all the health points that guy had. To start, I'm going to park James in the back of the room here so that the enemies do not fall off of the screen. And looks like we've got a potion of strength. There is also a stronger version of this potion called the Potion of Might. Let's talk about what just happened there. James has the best equipment. He is wearing a dragon skin jerkin, which makes him immune to fire. Jashara is casting My Enemy, My Friend on the enemy closest to her, and therefore most likely to attack her, which is a good policy. And now James will go and test out this potion of strength, which will increase his strength, and therefore the amount of damage he does every time he attacks. As you can see, his strength is a little bit higher than it was. And that is a lot of damage. Most of that comes from the Wrath of the Prophet, but he is hitting a little bit harder than he would without that potion. I'm going to skip the turn to let this guy get away from the edge of the screen. Silly game. Oh, I waited. I didn't have to turn. Hopefully Pranfer is not touch him. Oh, Pranfer touched him. Here's a group of bandits. We are going to fight them. Jashara is going to cast My Enemy, My Friend on one of these bandits. Jashara wants to be friends. Let's be friends. James is going to move to the corner of the room because this is a tiny room. And I want those guys to get away from the edge of the screen. Things I do to get loot. Now, James is going to rub an unidentified grease on his sword. Do not have any potions of striking available. And this bandit is rudely going to go after Jashara. Notice how the enemies at the bottom of the screen skip their turns because they cannot reach any valid targets. My enemy, my friend, completely changed this battle, and the enemies now have to wait for James. This guy can take a lot of damage. Look at that, he's still standing. Interestingly enough, these bandits are technically more advanced opponents than Nighthawks. You will find Nighthawks in random encounters earlier then you will find these bandits. And generally, 
you don't encounter these bandits in the city. You only encounter them for the first time in the countryside. So, they are actually fairly tough. They don't have very good equipment, but their skills are better than the skills of many of the opponents you find in these games. Jazara unwisely cast Sunray on that guy standing at the edge of the screen. Why did I do that? Vision restored. Wonderful. And he decides to attack James. Good choice, good choice. And James will reciprocate. These guys have quite a lot of health. Look at all that experience we get from those three guys. Not too bad. Oh no, it's Nighthawks. Quick, get into battle position. James has a strong potion of striking. Uh, resin, Ooh. Strong potion of striking, that's the right one. Potion drinking animation. Uh, this Nighthawk is going to attack Jishara. How evil. This Nighthawk is going to attack Jishara. It's that same situation all over again. Jishara is the punching bag. What, what can she do? Well, what she could do is cast a spell, but instead I'm going to use a potion of healing which kind of helps, but kind of just prolongs the inevitable. Which is that Jashara will be a punching bag. James is going to attack this guy. All that magical stuff this guy has didn't prevent him from taking an 81 damage hit. So, there are limits. And those limits could best be defined as the strong potion of strength. Tara is going to cast my enemy, my friend. She probably should have done that earlier. And the guy changes his mind and goes to attack James. Great plan, man. Great plan. Now, Jazara can do whatever she wants. And it looks like she's going to go with the classic Sunray. Which will... Get this guy from seeing what he's doing. Also, it makes a cool-looking effect on his head. With the... My enemy, my friend, effect. Lowers his defense and attack. Good deal. Let's see what they've got. He's got a magical broadsword. And it is... an enchanted broadsword. It's not a bad weapon, but it's no Wrath of the Prophet. That sword is wicked. <laughs> 